Hey folks, this is Kalani, going to be looking at the best talents for you to take into Nighthold as a Marksmanship Hunter. So I'm still playing Marksmanship right now, and it's actually kind of interesting, because we have a lot of bosses where we need priority damage on the boss, but we still have adds that need to go down. Some of the time we have hard swaps, and some of the time we can just cleave those adds down. So what's a good mix-up of our talents here? Because we obviously have the choice between Lock and Load and True Aim, where True Aim is very single target focused and lock and load helps a lot if we need to swap targets. The problem here is that if we need to change too often in a fight, true aim is going to get reset and we really need to keep that stacked as high as possible for as long as possible to make the most out of it. So any fight where we would want to swap targets almost at all, I would say take lock and load over true aim. Now the other choice is explosive shot and patient sniper. Explosive shot honestly should really only see use when you're trying to pad meters so explosive shot is good and it does a lot of damage the problem is you lose a lot of priority damage so the damage on the boss is going down significantly for higher damage on ads now you need to decide and kind of look at the fight and decide okay well these ads are incredibly important the damage on them is totally worthwhile for me to sacrifice the damage in patient sniper one very good example of a fight where you really need to choose between the two is Gul'dan, because Gul'dan is an ad fight for pretty much all of the fight, except the last phase where it's a burn phase, and Patient Sniper is almost required for you to be useful at all in that last phase, because if you take Explosive Shot, you're doing really good damage throughout the entire fight, more or less, because there's a lot of targets to use Explosive Shot on. But as soon as you only face Gul'dan, and you don't get any of those AoE adds coming back anymore, you're losing a ridiculous amount of damage by taking Explosive Shot in the most important phase of the fight. So I'd say stick with Patient Sniper, really unless you're on something like Scorpion where there's a million Scorpions because you're doing it wrong and you're just trying to pad meters and you know you can take Explosive Shot to see the big numbers. That's really its only use almost. Now, the last one is A Murder of Crows versus Volley, and honestly, stick with Volley for the most part. So, for Scorpion, we're going to be running with what we just said, simply because we do have priority damage on the boss, but we also have priority damage on a set of adds which spawn quite frequently throughout the fight. So, Volley is going to give us that extra splash damage, Lock and Load lets us swap, and we don't lose any value in the true aim for swapping, for the chrononmatic anomaly were pretty much the same thing there's a few ads and they're kind of high priority the big ad is high priority but not so much that we'd need to take something like a murder of crows while you can get the resets in there the splash damage from volley on those ads is actually going to outperform it quite considerably volley is turning out to be incredibly powerful more powerful than pretty much anyone really thought it would be so take once again lock and load patient sniper and volley now triliax is our first single target fight so we're going to run with true aim patient sniper and the murder of crows nothing else can really work here because we don't swap targets so true aim we get full value of patient sniper is obviously our priority damage and the boss is the only thing we're damaging and then volley is support on anything where you can't hit you know, a few targets at least. So a murder of crows here takes the cake. Spellblade Allurial, I said, is a little bit of a wonky one. If you're on normal mode, you're going to have those ads just kind of run around and hopefully be on your tank all the time, which means lock and load patient sniper volley can work really well there. You don't really need the priority damage on the ad, so explosive shot might not be a good idea. Pretty much everybody's going to be cleaving those down, but if you're on heroic mode, those ads are going to be far more important, because the fire ones are going to be casting their nasty pyroblast, and the arcane ones will be casting armageddon, so they need to die ASAP. If your raid is having problems with killing those in time, explosive shot might give you a little bit of burst damage that you need, so explosive shot if you're struggling, lock and load patient sniper volley if you're not. Now, Tychondrius is another funny one, because you have definite priority damage on Tychondrius himself, because there's an enrage in that fight where, you know, you need to get Tychondrius down, otherwise he's just going to wipe your raid. So, DPS is very important on Tychondrius, but you also have an amazing amount of ads here. You have the Bloods coming out, you have the, the Spellblade ad coming out towards the end, and also the Inquisitor, but the thing here really is the Bats. Now, if you take Explosive Shot and you unload on those Bats, you would do a ridiculous amount of damage. But the problem is Explosive Shot is going to hurt you everywhere else in the fight, 
more or less, except maybe the Bloods. So I'd recommend taking Lock and Load, because we're going to be swapping targets quite often, Patient Sniper, because we've got priority damage on Tychondrius, and then take Volley, because why would we take a Murder of Crows when we can Volley all those Bats, Volley all those Bloods, Volley all those Ads? That's kind of a, a no-brainer there. Croesus is, again, pure single target, so not really anything to discuss here. We take True Aim, Patient Sniper, and a Murder of Crows. There are a few adds here, but they're not going to stay up anywhere near long enough to make any use of Volley, and we don't really need to ever hard swap to them, so Lock and Load loses a little bit of value, and, you know, True Aim doesn't lose any, so easy win there. High Botanist Talon starts out single target, but very quickly becomes multi-target, so we're going to ditch a Murder of Crows in favour of Volley. Patient Sniper is your go-to, because Explosive Shot is going to be really difficult to deal with throughout the fight. You know, when it's single target, it's not going to be great. And then we also go to two target, where it's okay, but three target is really where it shines. And as a hunter, you're probably not going to be in melee. If you're in melee, you're probably doing something wrong and hurting your raid a little bit because you need to be out for all of the group spread abilities. Now, that means Explosive Shot is going to be at range instead of in melee, making it harder to use, and if you ever miss that, then that's going to be a huge DPS loss. So, play it safe, take Patient Sniper, and once again, lock and load. Star Augur Atreus is once again a single target fight until the end where you have one priority add, so take True Aim, Patient Sniper, and a Murder of Crows. Grand Magistrix Elisand is a little bit interesting and wonky because you do have adds and they're up a lot of the time, which makes Volley very important because you can stack them all up and have three targets up at once most of the time. And you also have to swap, so that makes Volley and Lock and Load quite important. Lock and Load is also really cool because you have to move a lot in Elisand a lot. So Lock and Load helps you keep your DPS up while you're moving, and then obviously we'll be using Patient Sniper because Explosive Shot just does not get enough value here. I already spoke about Gul'dan, you've got ads for the most of the time, but in that last phase you really need to push your DPS. So, because we're running ads, we're going to take Lock and Load instead of True Aim, we're going to take Patient Sniper just to keep our priority damage up, and then we'll take Volley because there's a lot of ads here, you can hit a lot at once, and it does a lot of free DPS. So that's pretty much all there is to talk about best talents for Nighthold thus far. Obviously if anything changes, if we get any number changes, everything might change. I know we're actually getting another buff on Tuesday for when Mythic comes out. Our Arcane Shot is going to generate 8 Focus instead of 5, Multi Shot 3 per hit instead of 2 per hit, and we're also getting a 33% damage increase to Sidewinders. So... Who knows, we might actually have different talent setups going into Mythic next week, depending on if these changes really affect anything. But for now, run with this for the most part, it's a very good talent setup and you only really need to swap Lock and Load to True Aim and Volley to a Murder of Crows whenever you're going pure single target. Go Explosive Shot if you really want to pad the meters, but you might not necessarily be helping your raid. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.